Uh, one thing I would say is that uh, when you find a job on a, on a newspaper or maybe a, a radio station or whatever, um, if you are interested in local government, uh, you will probably be met with uh, open arms uh, by the news editors because there is a acute shortage of journalists in this country who are uh, A, interested in or B, know anything about local government and of course local government council committee meetings are the lifeblood or should be the lifeblood of local newspapers because they deal with uh, every item of uh, local interest from collecting the bins to burying people uh, to the state of the roads etc etc uh, so I suggest that if you make it known that you'd like to get involved in reporting about local government uh, you probably be uh, greeted very warmly um, but that then is going to involve you in uh, a, a quite laborious and long task of uh, getting to know your patch, getting to know what your council does, who runs it, who the important people are, uh, above all going to meetings, going to council meetings, uh, going to scrutiny committee meetings, going to cabinet meetings even if the agenda looks dull. Um, there will still be a chance that something will happen, somebody will say something, a report will be tabled that you don't know about um, and crucially uh, over a period of time you will be able to build up contacts in that council among the councillors and council officers and you'll probably be pleasantly surprised how quickly it is before you'll be on first name terms with uh, leading councillors and, and council officers because um, at the end of the day um, politicians are driven, are driven by ego very often and they love to see their names in the paper they love to be quoted and council officers are often uh, often the same so get out there get to meetings get to know the council and, uh, and good luck